It's the blonde angel. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm all right. How's things? Are you good? I'm good. Not as good as you, though. Why? Because you've been in the sunshine while we've been freezing. I know I've been in the sunshine and I'm always eating food under the sunshine and, you know, all the nice weather and you get, what, Mansfield, get Nottingham. Mansfield, Nottingham. You know, well, today, though, I'm actually going to take you because there's a treat, yeah. you see, because I'm going to take you for the best food under the sun. Under Have a guess sun. where it is. Are you Benidorm? No. Tenerife? No. Um, Spain somewhere? No, the best food under the sun, the best pub grub under the sun. In England. Retford. Retford? <laughs> Retford. Retford. And it's snowing, so can't be no more. And it's snowing, but apparently we're going to the Sun Inn in Retford. It's like a gastro pub kind of thing. Yep. I'm told it's privately owned. Um, it's fantastic food. It's all cooked fresh to order. They've got steak and ale pies. They've got fish and chips. They've got curries. They've got everything. And believe me, I've seen some of the food and it looks awesome. So the best pub grub under the sun and it's snowing. And we'll probably get stuck there because we're in my electric car. Oh, no, Lee. So I hope they've got rooms. Anyway, <laughs> that's controversial. <laughs> Easy tiger. <laughs> Look at her. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friend, let's go. Now you see, we're heading towards Retford and the sunshine's coming out. You see, you, th you thought I was kidding. This is the best pub grub under the sun. <laughs> we start with snow and we're ending up coming towards the sunshine. Now I have read the menu and they do actually have fish and chips. They have haddock, don't they? They do. What is it uh, down as there? Read the menu. You can have a beer battered haddock. Oh, beer battered haddock, yeah. Which is proper chips, mushy peas, tartar sauce. Ooh. Or you could have catch of the day. Catch of the day. Yeah. I think we'd go for haddock. They also do uh, a pie though, don't they, as well? A steak and ale pie yeah, there steak as well. Steak and ale pie with proper chips, mushy peas and gravy. Ooh, I love that's a bit of mushy peas nice. and gravy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, bit of mint sauce on the mushy peas yeah. as well. I think that's kind of a Yorkshire thing to put mushy peas. Pie and peas. Oh, listen to the trio of duck, lollipop, bon, bon, here and breast, <laughs> creamed potatoes, French peas, plum ketchup. Plum ketchup? Yeah, what's all that? Plum ketchup or ketchup? Ketchup, ketchup. Ketchup. Plum ketchup. Yeah. I tell you what, this is going to be good. <laughs> I can't wait for this. <laughs> that is good. And I love it when it's got a menu that Ange just can't read yeah. properly and pronounce. I don't ever wear my glasses, so that's even worse. <laughs> Let me just get out of here. Got to get out of this junction. Anyway. Oh, it's looking sunny here. Yeah. Of course it is, because we're heading towards Retford. <laughs> anyway, come on, onwards, my friends. Now then, do you want to just read that back to me? Just, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, read the menu. I just turned the camera off. And what did you say? You can have patatas bravas. I said, what? Patatas bravas. I said, patatas bravas. I can't even find it now. You mean pat <laughs> patatas bravas. <laughs> well, I said it how it's pronounced. Patatas, patatas Never mind, anyway. I'm not really thick. You, you, did I'm you do it? To just wind you up. You do it to, uh, yeah, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't, like 103,000, yeah, anyway. They are, my friends, so they're they are. Me. They love you for it. Come on, on onwards. <laughs> 
patatas, patatas brava. Oh my word, Angie's just read me the desserts or the puddings right now. My favourite pudding. I'm more excited about the desserts and the puddings. <laughs> Angie's read them to me right now. I love a sticky toffee pudding, right? And a creme brulee. That's mine and Sarah's favourite, right? But you went, no, what's your favourite, Lee? What's your favourite? I said, sticky toffee pudding. She went, no. Guess again. What's your favourite? What's your favourite? I said, creme brulee. She went, no. Guess again. I said, well, they're my two favourites. She went, they've got tell them cornflake tart and that is one of lee's favorite cornflake tart like i used to have when i was at school now i'm all at sixes and sevens because i want the creme brulee i want the sticky toffee pudding and i want the and we're gonna have, to tart. have two different ones so we can share right okay then so we've got to have the cornflake tart yeah. that's got to be a must <sighs> maybe that but you're not keen on the sticky toffee no, pudding are not, you not thing, is it? well maybe we'll, maybe well <sighs> Oh, do you know there's, what? You see, there's never much in a creme brulee to share. Can we just pick that? somebody up from the side of the road and, and then just say puddings. and have three puddings? Or do you, in fact, one of you guys come and meet us at the Sun Inn in Retford, and we'll have another pudding. And where's me pudding? Where's me pudding? Where's me pudding? Go on. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm excited. Oh, Cornflake tart comes with pink custard. No <laughs> way. You are having me on. No, I'm not. Pink it's custard. Pink custard. I'm having that. Oh, I'm having, no, I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm no, having I'm having that. that. No, pink custard and cornflake tart. I found it first. I know, but I'm, oh no, we're sharing. Shares. I'm, I'm going to have cornflake tart just eating oh, it like that. No, like we did the cheesecake. No, no, it's not allowed. I've got a cornflake tart with pink custard. I'm, oh, I could crush a grape. <laughs> Who used to say that? Stu, Stu Francis, well, I could crush a grape. <laughs> Come on, onwards. Right, here we are in sunny Retford. Wow. I told you, didn't I? Can't hey, believe the difference of the sun within an half an hour. Hey, do you know where that train was going, by the way? That train? Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. That's where <laughs> it was going to, that train. It said Leeds on the front. Sophisticated. I've been yeah. to Leeds. So right. Leeds. Come on, I'm 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 more excited about the pudding now. We're going to fight over this cornflake tart. I hope now. they've got some. T tell them when we go in, save some. Save, save the cornflake tart custard. and pink custard. Right, come on, onwards, my friends.
Right, wow, I tell you what, it looks absolutely fantastic it in here, doesn't it? It looks amazing, it's beautiful. It's, it's really, really nice, and I, I, I'm going to let you into a secret. You know, when I was doing the little B roll, all the film yeah. that you've just seen on here in, in a moment, at a moment ago, um, I went into the kitchen. Did you? And I've seen the cornflake tart. In fact, have you ordered your portion? I haven't ordered my portion, but. Now then, my friends, a little bit of an overlay. Have a look at this. When you walk to the kitchen, right, it actually says on air as if it's like a, a radio station or like, a, yeah, a little radio station. And I went in there. Oh, the cornflake tart. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it was untouched. I've never seen a virgin cornflake tart, tart before. And pink custard. Oh, pink custard as well. You cannot get better. This is, place is amazing. They've got some great Excitedly, beers. Aren't you yeah, really? they've got some local beers on offer as well, which is fantastic. They've also got uh, a full menu as well, which we're going to show you in a minute. Are you super excited? Super excited. Super this is, excited. This is exciting for me. Somewhere nice. I know, somewhere nice for a change. And, and the I'm sun's out. And the sun's out. It's like I wrote the script for this, isn't it? I ordered the sunshine. There Lovely. you go. Breakfast. Told you. Breakfast is always sunny. Just up the road from us. Retford. Yeah. We come from snow in Mansfield did. to sun in Retford. I can't believe it. And that's why it's called the Sun Inn that's because it. it always shines in Retford, especially in here. Anyway, before we go any further, my friends, take a closer look at the menu. Hi guys, you okay? I've got two menus there for you. So the soup of the day is broccoli and stilton. We've also got a lunch menu as well, some sandwich selections there. It is all one-sided, but that doesn't mean there's not plenty of options. As you'll see, there's plenty of options. That's our new menu that started yesterday. You'll see they've got a sunny burger that's now able to double up for an extra 3 95 Might sound a little bit steep, but it's, I can assure you it's absolutely fantastic. Beef comes fresh in every morning, straight from the butcher to us, straight to your burger. Can you get the pizza start for you there? Uh, we've got the deep coat, thank you very much. That's no great, problem. Yeah. I'll leave you guys to have a few minutes with the menu and I'll come back to you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Right, so we've got Dan here, the general manager of the Sun Inn. Is it always sunny in Retford? Always is sunny inside the Sun Inn anyway. <laughs> always sunny inside the Sun Inn. Now, uh, I'm gonna go for fish and chips. I know I always go for fish and chips. I've been in a bit of a quandary with this though, haven't I? Yeah. I said, oh, I always go for fish and chips. But then again, if I don't have the fish and chips, people are gonna say, we want to know what the fish and chips is like. And I'm guessing it's one of your most popular dishes. It is. It's one of our top sellers, absolutely. Excellent. Now, you're going to go for the pie. I am going to go for the pie. Steak and ale is being baked at the moment, so we're going to go for something a little bit different. You're yeah. going to go for the... Um, did you say minced beef? Minced beef and onion. And I'm going to have that one, then. Minced beef and onion. All the pies are baked here. Freshly every morning. Yeah. Freshly every morning. Fresh made fresh, put straight into the oven. Excellent. Fish and chips. Exactly the same. Delivers fresh from the fishmonger every morning, straight from them to us and straight to the fryers you order it. Wow. And the batter's made here as well on the premises. Everything's made in-house as well, yes. Excellent. Now then, cornflake tart. And you've got pink custard as well, haven't you? Yeah, absolute classic, yes. Excellent. I cannot wait for this. <laughs> Although, what is your most popular dessert? Courtney, the cornflake tart. Of course it is. <laughs> Although I think we're going to have to share. You're going to have to have a cornflake tart, yeah. and then we may have to have like a, I don't know, a sticky toffee pudding yeah, or a we'll creme brulee or something. And then we'll share. That's the best bet. Yeah. So Absolutely. I think that's what we'll go for. I'll go for the fish and chips. You're going to go for the pie and chips. And then uh, we're going to mark this out of 10. Amazing. I'll get that. I'll, I'll get that ordered for you. And Thank by you. By the way, can I just ask one other question as well? Because it's coming up to summer, you've got an outdoor area as well. We do, yes. And I saw out there that you've got like a... It's an airstream. An, an airstream. It is, yeah. So it's like the van as well, the silver... Yeah. That's an airstream. It's an airstream, yes. And it's, what, a, it's a kitted out bar. So basically, everybody can eat outdoors. Absolutely, and every bank holiday weekend we'll be doing a barbecue as well. Excellent. Wow, let me get nice. let me get this right so I look cool. So you can eat 
Al Fresco, <laughs> Rodney, you know Absolutely, what I mean? Al yeah. Fresco, excellent. Play area as well for the children there Absolutely, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when it gets a little bit cool, I saw there's a fire pit as well. There is. It's used throughout the summer as well as in the winter as well. All of our big tables outside are also heated also. The tables are heated? They're heated, yeah. Heated heaters outside on the tables. Really? Yeah. Oh, lovely. The, the tables themselves are all yeah. heated? Oh, All wow. of them is a heater. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're there. The excellent. Heaters well Everyone. The this is a great place. I'm liking it already. I might yeah. have to come back with out my camera and also without my car so I can have a few scoops. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hi guys, I've got the fish and chips there for you. And I've got the pie as well. Thank you. Yes, Making me hungry, look at that guys. Look at that. Oh my word! I mean, that this. Looks like a whale it looks like face. a whale. It's huge. It's, it's massive, huge. It's it? absolutely massive. And look at your yeah, pie. Look at the size of it. Easy, <laughs> easy, tiger. Calm down. I know we're going to get some <laughs> comments on there. I do. Yes. Anyway, look at this homemade pie there. Absolutely fantastic homemade chips there as well. Now, being serious for a moment, they do a gluten-free option. Uh, of the fish and chips here, so it says on the menu. I saw there it says GFO, I believe. So there we go, GFO, gluten free option. Anyway, before we go any further, take a further look, my friend. Take a further look. Just take a closer look. She's she's not she's not on it today. Not on it today now. Right, well, I've got to tell you, <clears throat> that looks absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to tuck in, to be honest. So first things first, though, I want you to cut into that pie, pour the gravy, and we're going to show you exactly what this looks like inside. Off, You're going to take your chips off first, that's it. Decant them onto the plate, yeah. that's it. And then pop your, pop your peas out there as well. So take a closer look, my friends. Wow, I mean that looks something else, doesn't it? Yes. I tell you what, it's amazing the pastry. Do you want to take, before I cut into mine, just take a bite and tell me, wow, that pastry looks awesome. It does. Try not get down today. Yeah, there we go. What do you think? Beautiful. Looks gorgeous. Really nice homemade, you can tell. Yeah, and the, the pastry looks amazing. Mm. The filling is fantastic there. I'm going to go, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to cut into my fish now. Uh, and take a look at this. So, uh, oh, I, just, I just want to dig in. <laughs> right, I'm going to decant the chips here. And I tell you, what I've noticed here is a lot of places that I go to, uh, actually put the they've started putting the fish on top of the chips here they haven't done that now there's a reason for that because you put the fish on top of the chips it steams the fish it and it softens the batter which is what, what sure 
I bet, I bet you don't. That's my watch talking. <laughs> See, they do listen to you. Um, but I understand. So they uh, they basically put the chips separately so it doesn't soften the batter there as well. Right, okay. Let's decant the peas. Good colour peas there as well. Here we go. Right, oh, in fact, get them all out. Don't waste any. Don't no, waste any. Don't waste any. It looks fantastic. I tell you what, got tartar sauce here as well. The batter is lovely and crispy. And what can even hear it? Listen at that. I mean, wow. That is fantastic. Here we go. Ready? Oh, that's hot. Buy me. It's very hot, isn't it? Nice and warm. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous fish there. Now, let's have a look. Is the skin on it? Might be. Is the skin on it? It might be skin on it. I'll have to have a look at that. However, some people. Now, I'm funny about the skin. It skin sometimes. You are, aren't you? However, a lot of people. It's quite a controversial thing. A lot of people say that's the best part of it because apparently it has omega three in it, doesn't it? So I can't really tell whether there is or there isn't. If there is, it's a very thin, yes, very thin layer. The chips look fantastic. Look at these. Look at that, cooked to perfection. Wow. Okay, let's get a bit of this tartar sauce on there. You know, for once, I'm actually quite jealous. Your pie looks I know, it's amazing. Beautiful. It's lovely. Right. I'm going to eat this, but that batter is so crispy. Just look at that. Listen to this. <laughs> wow. Nice thick bits of fish there. Right, I'm going to eat this. Come back to you. And then onto the cornflake tart. Oh, pink custard. I got I'm more that excited about school, that being back it? at school. I can't wait. Age, can't we? I know. See you guys in a minute. Mm. Beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna finish this and then get to the dessert because Andrew just said to me, can I just eat my dinner rather than you filming it from every single angle? <laughs> um, so we're gonna eat the rest of it. I've got to tell you, the fish is so fresh and you can taste it, it's meaty, it's fresh. I will be honest, yes, it does have the skin on it. It would be my preference to take the skin off. I'm presuming you could do that if you asked them, um, however, um, some people like it on because it, it, it has. Lot there's not a lot on it. There's not a lot on it, and the, some the batter is phenomenal, and the fish is so fresh. Yeah. You can tell it is tasty. Like I've made a mess of the, it, like I've made a mess of the table. It's that flaky and fresh. Honestly, this is fantastic, and the chips are great. The mushy peas taste superb. But do you know what? My mind's just focused on that cornflake tart now with pink custard. I want pink custard. I want, I want pink custard and cornflake tart, yeah. Um, am I having that and you're just having the creme brulee? Or do no. we just both go for the uh, cornflake tart or do we share? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm so excited. It's exciting. This place is, honestly, this place is great. Right, we'll see you guys Amazing. in a minute. Shall I, shall I get one more angle of your, of your, of your food? 
No? <laughs> no. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. Now then, guys, I've got your desserts. The one you're excited for, the cornflake tart. That's mine. I'm not sharing with you. Oh, I best not to give that away, had I? Yeah. I'll give that back to yourself. Thank you. And then I've got your sticky toffee pudding also. Oh, wow. These puddings look amazing. Do. Didn't you put the cornflake tart here, though, first? So that must be mine. I said <laughs> ladies Look first. at that. I did, a... I, I did that to create an argument. <laughs> Just a quick question. <laughs> um, with the fish. Yes. Um, excellent. The, the, the food was excellent. The oh, batter was crispy. Okay. The, fresh, uh, the, fresh, the fish was fresh. <laughs> the chips were amazing. Homemade chips. Oh, homemade yeah, hand -made yeah. hand cut chips. Um, what I will say is it did have um, a little bit of skin on it. Yes, absolutely. If I wanted that removing, would that be possible? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. we'd just request it and you just take absolutely. the skin off? Absolutely. Yeah, if you want anything taken off or you want something done a slightly different way, we could do that for you, not a problem. Excellent, Amazing. there you yeah. go. So next time we'll come along. And it's gluten-free as well. And you yeah. can have a gluten-free option, gluten option as well. gluten-free as well, along with the burgers, we can also do a gluten-free bun also. Excellent. And gluten-free bread as well. Brilliant, That's fantastic. Right, well, I'll tell you what. Um, Let just me look just at that over there. Just look at that up there. No, he just have it. it just give it. Just no, give me no. that. Give me. No, no, give me no. it. You take it closer, look, my friends. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm at a quandary, it's thrown a bit of a curveball because you've got, you've got, you've got the corn, look at the cornflakes just falling off there in the pink custard. It's all your, you got to share some of that. I will share. Yeah, I mean this looks fantastic I've got to say. Amazing. Sticky toffee pudding, I mean is, is actually my favourite, one of my favourites. Originated um, in Cartmel, did you know? There we go, in the Lake District, so we uh, Right, we're going to get some ice cream on here. This is how you do it, right? Just look at this. Get some of that toffee on there as well. Look at that. Did it say butterscotch sauce? I don't know, but just look that at that. Much. Here we go. Hang on a minute. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Is it good? Is it good? It is butterscotch. Sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. Butterscotch sauce vanilla ice cream. Oh, just honestly, do you like sticky toffee pudding? Not really, but I'll have some. Just have a look. Honestly, trust me, that is amazing. Right, just take a little bit of that toffee as well. Right, look Ooh. at that. Right, there we go. Just honestly, you'll love it. Got a slight crispiness to the top there, which you should have. Mm, it's absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Can I just uh, go on then, you try a little that. bit? Just try a little bit of this. Hang on a minute, let me get some pink custard as well. There we go. Look at that. Whose <laughs> <laughs> is better? I don't know. They're both really nice, aren't they? I can't choose. I've never been in a situation where you can't choose between one and the other. That's lovely. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Right, we'll eat this. Come back to you, but wow. This is just amazing. We'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, beautiful. Mmm. I'm gonna make your mind tonight. Pulling your hair, baby. I feel you breathing on me, on you. You know that I'm a selfish lover. When it's mine, I want it. One track mine for it, for you. Right. I've got to tell you, um, we're going to stop filming all these different angles now because <laughs> she gets she gets wound up. She's like, can I just eat my dinner? <laughs> so we're going to come back to you in a minute, but I've got to tell you, 
from all the desserts and the dessert places that I've been to, these has got to be, these one, of got to be one of the best. Absolutely fantastic Amazing. desserts. This sticky toffee pudding, and I've had a lot of sticky toffee puddings on camera and off because it's Sarah's <laughs> favourite dessert. We always have a one pudding, two spoons. Um, but these are just amazing. The sticky toffee pudding is outstanding. Um, and the, the uh, cornflake, cornflake tart, tart beautiful, is, absolutely beautiful. is gorgeous. It just falls apart. Sometimes you can have them. They're so hard to cut and break. And this one, put your spoon in, just falls apart. So that just says it all, really, doesn't it? And that is lovely too. Yeah. It's difficult to choose between which, to be honest. I mean, the cornflake tart brings back memories of when you're back at school, it doesn't does. it? It does. We used and to have it, didn't we? School dinner. Yeah, well. I mean, that, that's obviously that's. I think that's a that's lot better than what that's, it's, it's our age. That's a lot better than what we used to have at school, though. But, <laughs> yeah. but it's it's beautiful just to bring back the nostalgia as well at the same time. Have to say, thoroughly enjoyed uh, uh, being here, and and the food's terrific. But we'll go in through that in a minute. Do you want to carry on now, yeah. and then we'll see you guys outside in a minute. Leave us to it. Goodbye. See you later. Well, don't go anywhere. It's not goodbye. It's see you in a minute. Right. I tell you what. That was really good. That was amazing. Should we get down to price first? Yes. Okay. So, forty-seven pounds eighty pence. Yep. Now, for a place like that, I'm going to say that's not overly expensive. I would have thought no. it would have been uh, a, a little more. bit more than that. Um, steak and ale pie, thirteen ninety five for a homemade steak and ale pie. Uh, uh, well, the beef and onion you had on that one, didn't you, yeah. actually? But you can have steak and ale as well. That was cooking in the back. Uh, beer battered haddock, twelve ninety five. I paid more than that at a fish and chip shop, to be Definitely. fair. Definitely. Um, large Diet Coke, three fifty. It's not the most expensive Diet Coke I've had. No, we've had three ninety fives, haven't we? So yeah. that's... Uh... Um, We've got sticky toffee uh, pudding. I mean, the puddings are amazing. Six ninety five each for cornflake tart. Forty seven eighty. Um, I'm going to say I would have took the skin off. Yeah. I wish I'd have known that I could have asked for at first. So, but when I go back, because I will, I will come back. Definitely. I think we'll come back and do reviews on yes. something else because they have got one in Everton. Not Everton to be confused <laughs> by Liverpool because I went oh it near Liverpool. Bawtry. It's near Bawtry yes. apparently. So uh, not um, far away. Yeah. I thought I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I thought the inside of the place and the decor was excellent. The food and the service was first class. Lovely. Um, Stuff amazing, also friendly. Yeah, the batter on my fish was great. The fish was flaky. Um, I, I can't really take, should I take a point off for it having the skin on? or not because they said they would remove remove it no because I, mean, I think if we'd have realized i mean maybe when you go to places ask guys ask if you can remove the skin if it's fresh fish yeah and and you it know. was to be fair it, there wasn't a lot of skin on it, it was very thin very so, mild wasn't very, it very, very, yeah the fish was you could it, it, it was you falling to bits falling to bits you could tell it was it was fresh um your pie i have to say oh my pie um, was huge yeah I, and I, the pastry and everything i mean i've had pie in other restaurants sometimes the pastry is too salty for me but that was absolutely yeah. amazing i was looking at your pie and thinking easy <laughs> and i was thinking we know what these we know what you viewers are like. We know what you like and i thought wow yeah a steak and ale version of that i'd love to come back for that yeah. um for me then i'm gonna go a 10 right because yeah. i think it deserves it i'm not gonna remove a point for the skin because if i do somebody's gonna go mm -hmm. Well, you could have took it off. And to be fair, um, it I, did, I couldn't really tell it was on, to be honest. It was, it was no, very thin. You so see it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. My only downside was, I wish it was summer and I could sit outside and have yeah, a pint. Because they've got, they've got like, you know, local breweries and stuff. So what's your score? Definitely a 10. Yeah. Um, the chips was beautiful, homemade. The peas, the pie was amazing. Um, next time if we come I might have the steak and hail pie but it was in the oven when we asked for it and that was the other one that was doing or they, I think they had chicken and mushroom on as well yeah um, you can't fault it the puddings was beautiful proper homemade food like anybody for I'm, I'm actually gonna if I can get Sarah out of Yorkshire <laughs> I'm gonna bring her down with James because there's a little play area over there She'd love it. Uh, and James and Harriet love that 
Uh, it's fantastic. And Lee, you could get her a sticky toffee pudding that she loves. Oh, it's her favourite. She would like that actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it it would be one one pudding, two spoons. <laughs> but she'd probably have the pudding to herself. I'd go for the cornflake tart. Um, <laughs> fantastic. So that's the Sun Inn in Retford. Yes. And there's also one in uh, where, where Everton, did I say? Everton. Not to be confused with Liverpool, yeah. like <laughs> silly me here going, do you support Everton then? Uh, no, it's yeah, the Everton near Bawtry. So there we go, uh, that's the sun in. Uh, there we go, enjoyed it, didn't we? It's very nice. Nice place, Lee. Yeah. Makes change. It does, doesn't <laughs> it? It does. And the weather, we've had snow, we've had beautiful sunshine, and now the wind has come, it's freezing. Would you say it's the best pub food, or the best pub I would say under the sun? Yes. There we go. I definitely would. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like the channel, think about subscribing. It is free. I'm not going to go subscribe. Just click the subscribe if you like it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hey! Look who we've got here! Hello. It's the blonde angel, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm good. I'm glad to be... Um... Oh, Lee, I can't have lost my words. You've lost your words, that's an outdate. <laughs> <laughs> it's your bobble hat, isn't it? Yeah, right, give on. me Edward. Take two. Hey, I've told her what to say. I mean, come on, there's no secrets here. Right, you ready? Take two. <laughs> Can you get it right? Can yes. you get it right? <laughs> Right, she can't get it right. Look at her. She's all at sixes and sevens. I'm all at sixes and sevens today. It's like, you know. It's because it, it was sunny. I come from work, it was sunny, and now it's blooming snowing again. Do you know what? This is the longest outtake ever now, yeah. isn't it? Right, are ready? Take two. Lee, just wait a minute. Right. <laughs> She's only got to say, look, all you got to do is, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Ange? I'm not as good as you. You've been eating your food under the sunshine and everything, and I get to eat it in Mansfield and Nottingham, etc. Yeah. Yeah? Right, well, just try again. You got that? She got this. It's not, as, it's not as difficult, is it? Today, I'm having a bad day. You're having a bad day, right? Should we take two? How many? Yeah. Should, we, should we see how many outtakes we can get? No, let's not. Right, ready, ready? It's the blonde angel. <laughs> nice uh, to see you, Lee. Are you all right? Why are you laughing? She's like, to stop. Start again. You're laughing. Why are you laughing? I can't get my words out. Right. Are you I'm ready? Under pressure today. Under pressure. Right, ready. It's snowing. <laughs> it, it has. It's confused me. Right. Okay. You ready? Yeah.